As more people get vaccinated and feel comfortable traveling again, more planes are coming out of storage and headed back to the runway. And as Chloe Nordquist learned, the process of getting those planes ready can be tedious. Okay, so today we're bringing back to service aircraft 447 uh, from active storage. Um, as you can see, there's covers on certain uh, air data computer components. There's shielding on the windows. Inside this hangar, Russ Peterson is one of the many people responsible for making sure United Airlines planes run smoothly. The guys today are going to remove all the external tape, flags, covers. This airplane has been in storage for just over a month. We have to do a lot of checks on the airplane. It's a process that takes about three and a half days. We go over it, the whole entire fuselage, wings, everything. But for planes that have been in storage long term, the process takes longer. The long term storage takes probably five to six days. Multiply that by dozens of planes. As the pandemic hit last year, the CDC ranked flying a moderate risk for COVID-19 and every airline grounded aircraft, leaving these companies scrambling for storage space. When they first came about and it's all hit the fan, we um, decided to take on as many as we could. We took on the 53, which was the second largest city of storage aircraft uh, initially. Russ and his team were now in charge of dozens of empty aircraft. After working here for almost four decades, Russ said he had never seen anything like it. The, the work that we've done on the 53 aircraft far surpasses what we normally do because we've had to work so much harder to keep them and maintain them. Airplanes are made to fly, not sit on the ground. It led to images like these that Russ showed us, planes stacked next to each other on the tarmac. At the worst scenario, we only had 200 airplanes flying when normally we had over 700 flying. And you know, all the airlines basically had to do the same thing. Now things are looking up. With vaccines available and loosened restrictions, more people are filling seats, which translates into more planes filling the skies. United says they've seen summer bookings for June through August go up 214% from July 2020. It's led to the greatest demand for trips that Heather Travis has ever seen. March was my busiest month ever, um, and I was booking trips for the summer. I was booking trips for 2022. As a travel agent, she says she sees the pent up demand and some of the problems customers face with booking flights. It just feels a little different. Um, there's there's maybe not so many options. I haven't seen a whole lot of like just there's no availability. Um, not that problem, just the flight prices. People are calling me like, I can't believe it's going to cost me $1,700 for, you know, to get over to the East Coast. Of the 53 United airplanes stored here at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport, just one remains in long-term storage. One last reminder of the way the pandemic rippled through the travel industry. And it's uh, wrapped up, engines are closed off, air conditioning systems closed off, uh, APUs closed off, uh, flight controls are disabled. But even this one will be out by September. It really does show the horizon for us so we can uh, get everything back to flying. Workers like Russ can focus less on the unknown every day and more on the regular maintenance and safety of the planes. That's what I like to do. Keep them flying, keep them safe. I'm Chloe Nordquist reporting. The town where people live partially disconnected next on The Race.